What up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Tutorial Tuesday. Today, we are talking about game staging and how it makes your beats sound even crispier. All right, so when I first started making beats, I remember I used to always try to like tweak every little sound and make everything like the right level and the right volume and make everything try to sound as good as possible. I would go upload that beat to YouTube or SoundCloud or whatever I wanted to share with people. And then all of a sudden I would listen to it and I'd be like, hmm, all right, I think it sounds pretty good. Even though in the back of my mind, this thing's not sounding the way it did as I was making it in the DAW. Like, yeah, you know, that, that, that beat turned out pretty nice. And then I would just go stumble across somebody else's just to compare and kind of see where I stood. All of a sudden, I'm listening to this beat, and it is absolutely sp bank in my beat the drums are hitting hard the the melodies just sound so clean and clear and it's just like what the heck am i missing well one of the pieces that really improved my production game was learning how, what game staging was and how you can use it to actually make your beats sound a lot cleaner and clearer we're going to go ahead and dive into that today so what is gain staging gain staging refers to adjusting the level at each point of amplification to ensure an optimal signal to noise ratio without unusable distortion so a lot of nerd talk right there we're going to go ahead and walk through in fl studio what exactly that that means and how you can use it to make your beats better because that's all you actually care about all right so i have this beat pulled up that i made from yesterday on make a beat monday um if you haven't checked out make a beat monday yet go ahead and look at one of these cards up here wherever it's at so we got the channel rack here so here's where all the samples are at that are hitting into the mixer all right so here's the pathway of sound let's say we have this snare right here and it's routed to channel three on the mixer track all right so to understand gain staging you need to understand where the signal is traveling before it enters your ear hole the snare starts here or the any signal but we're using the snare for this example and then it goes into the mixer and it's going to go through each of the plugins that you put in next before it actually enters the channel. When I hit the snare, you'll see the, the green bar pop up representing you know how high it is on the dB meter. So the first point where you can adjust the level is this knob right here. Now you can take this knob and you can crank it as high as you want to as long as it's not going above zero db at any point when it starts going above zero db it's going to cause clipping it's going to cause unwanted distortion that changes the sound of the signal that you're sending in a way that's not going to be desirable and steals energy from your overall mix makes it making everything else sound off too on this channel i only have the parametric eq for the snare when i don't have the eq on or whatever plugin it is in this case it's the eq it looks like it's it's looking like it's hitting right about 8 db if you look at the master channel db meter right at about 8 db now the eq i have on here subtracted some of the bass out there took off a slight bit of the high end we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Now you'll notice it's hitting at about four and a half, four, between four and five dB. Now, what we wanna to do to properly gain stage is we want that level to hit the exact same when the plugin is on or when the plugin is off. So almost all the plugins that you have, when you're adding EQ, reverb, delay, whatever, it's gonna have an output knob and you need to adjust that so it goes back down to the same level that it was before. With this off, it's at about eight. When we turn it on, it's about four or five. So I'm gonna enter the EQ right here. Now the output knob for the EQ is this little leveler right here. And so we're at about four or five right now when you get back down to eight. Just go ahead and drag this down a little bit. Now we're down to six, drag it down a little bit more. Boom, right at eight. That'll help get rid of any unwanted distortion. And we still have room on our actual mixer right here that when we're actually leveling out the beat at the end when we're done making it, we can still adjust the volume to make it louder or softer. By doing this gain staging process first, you're not gonna have to worry about it distorting 
as you're raising the volume. All right, let's go to the sample. That's gonna have the most things on it. I got two EQs and I got Maximus right here. All right, so it's hovering right around five to seven, depending on what point. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn on one of the things, the first one, because the way this signal is gonna flow, it's gonna go into this EQ first, then it's gonna go into this Maximus, then it's gonna go into this EQ, and then it's gonna go into the channel, and then it's gonna go to our ears. Let's go ahead and turn this EQ on, and let's go ahead and take a look at the EQ right here. It's kind of peaking right at six rather than going above it a little bit. So we need to raise it just slightly. The other issue is going to happen if you don't gain stage is that if you EQ too much of the sound away and don't raise the output knob, then the drum or whatever instrument is going to sound flatter than you want it to. I mean, you shaped the sound. Now you need to raise it back up to that level so you get that full sound that you just shaped. <laughs> All right, just a slight adjustment upward on that one. Now we got Maximus going on. All right, so on Maximus, it's going a little bit higher. So what we're gonna do is this post the gain knob right here. This is the output volume knob or output gain knob for Maximus. So we're just gonna drop it down a little bit. All right, and then we have this EQ. Now on this one, you can see the huge drop that I had because I had to cut so much of a certain frequency for, for this sample. So again. Now it's hitting back up around the uh, six mark just above it right there. So yeah, whenever I have such a hard cut like that, and I don't typically recommend doing crazy cuts like this on samples, but this particular sample needed it. I took away a lot of the extra sound. Basically the sample would sound less full if I didn't do the gain staging on this. But since I raised the output knob back up on that last EQ, it's still gonna have a full sound with still being able to shape that part of the sample as well. All right, let's go to the next instrument. What do we got here? All right, we got the hi-hat. Hi-hat's hitting right around 15. Turn on the uh, EQ, and uh, it's still hitting around 15, so I don't even need to touch that one. Let's look at the kick drum. All right, so the kick drum without the EQ is hitting there right at nine. Turn the EQ on. It's jumping up to six. So when it jumps up like that, if I don't gain stage, you could run into some unwanted distortion issues. We already talked about why that sucks. So let me go ahead and drag this down a little bit. And then we got our bass line. All right, bass line's hitting right about five dB. Turn on this first EQ. And it's jumping all the way up to four. So we're just gonna bring this down just a little bit. And got a second EQ that cuts out just the slightest a bit of the sub bass. All right, looks like that one's good. And then I got some distortion on it. And it looks like we're solid. And so now when I turn back all the instruments on, 
I have the ability to adjust all the levels now without really worrying about too much distortion. So. And then the key, just to really tie it all together to make sure you don't have any unwanted distortion, go to the master track, go to the bottom level and add this soft clipper. So if it does clip at any random point and you're really trying to push all those levels up to zero dB to make it as loud and slap as high as you can, the soft clipper will help anything that kind of you know goes over that zero dB threshold. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it for gain staging. The basic review right here, that initial signal from whatever sample or sound that you're using make sure that's not clipping into the mixer channels before you add any effects on them and everything like that. And then the order in which you put different effects and plugins on it matters because it's gonna go from the first one to the second one to the third one, literally in that order. And so you need to make sure that it's not causing any distortion as that signal is transferring from one to another. So all you need to do is just toggle on and off whatever plugin you're using and make sure that it's hitting at the same level, whether it's on or whether it's off. And so the way you adjust that is with the output knob on each one of the plugins. I guarantee you, once you start doing this for your beats, they will instantly sound better and you won't feel like such a buster for not having your beats hit like you imagine they would. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you guys got any other uh, questions or any other ideas for tutorials that you wanna learn about, let me know in the comments. But other than that, have a good one, y'all.